causing quite a stir among Chinese officials. But how does it work and how is it different from other U.S. systems already deployed on the Korean Peninsula? CCTV's Jim Spanlin explains. This is what the U.S. military calls THAAD, Terminal High Altitude Area Defense. Here's how it works. There are three main components. A powerful X-band radar array scans the skies, effective up to 1,000 kilometers. Placed in the ROK, the radar could easily extend deep into China. A mobile command center uses the radar data plus satellite information to detect and target incoming missiles. An interceptor launches from the truck-based array. As it nears the target, it uses infrared beams to meet the incoming missile in the upper part of the atmosphere or even in the lower reaches of space, up to 150 kilometers above the Earth. A THAAD interceptor does not contain a warhead. It destroys the incoming missile by force of impact. The U.S. has five THAAD systems. Each costs about $800 million and is operated by about 110 soldiers. Beijing is concerned a U.S. THAAD system in the ROK would compromise China's security. To be very honest with you, it doesn't require experts to know this. Ordinary people would know that the deployment of the THAAD system is not just to defend the ROK. It has a wider agenda, and it may even serve the possibility of targeting China. The U.S. and the ROK say the system would only be used to defend against the DPRK. In 2009, a THAAD system in Hawaii for testing was activated in response to potential threats from the DPRK. Following a 2013 nuclear test by the DPRK, the United States deployed a THAAD system to the island of Guam, a U.S. territory in the Pacific some 3,000 kilometers from Seoul. The THAAD system in Guam was meant to be temporary, but the Pentagon is now making it a permanent installation. The U.S. has also deployed a Patriot anti-missile battery to the Republic of Korea to augment a system already deployed there. The Patriot missiles have a shorter range and intercept incoming missiles at a lower altitude. Jim Spellman, CCTV, Washington.